I just arrived to our destination for today. We are in Bury St. Edmunds. From the train station to the town center, I'm following some labels on the street. They all point town center this direction. The train station till the town center, it's less than 10 minutes by walking. Now we just arrived to the market and it's just behind me. I just met Lisa at the market. Hi Lisa, how are you? Hi, Good? nice to meet you. <laughs> and she's going to talk a bit about the market, how long she's been here and how long is the market rolling and what does she think about the market? So I've been trading here for about four years. Um, it's a lovely market, a big market. So the market we just visited is known as one of the best street markets of the country. Considering that it's a market that only runs twice per week, it's quite impressive. building right here is the Angel Hotel, a very famous hotel of this city. The Abbey Gardens location is just in the heart of Bury St. Edmunds and these gardens hide a lot of the history of this city. Okay, so now we are at the Great Court, where back in the past, this was the place where all the practical affairs were conducted. I just found these lovely ladies at the Abbey Gardens, and uh, hello! Hello! <laughs> and they have their opinion to share about the city, so... Um, Bury is a lovely town, very friendly people, lots of different things for different ages to do. Um, lots of outdoor life, lots of parks, squirrels, <laughs> lots of nature. <laughs> Bury is such an historical city, it has a lot of meaning and a lot of things to find out. Here in the Abbey Gardens you can also find some ruins. This is the abbey which um, the Benedictine monks had built. This is the church that Sarah is in. This is St. Mary's. Then here is um, St. James's, which is now the cathedral. And, and all this is ruins. Um, but the west front is still, is still there. This city takes name uh, from King Edmund, the original patron saint of England and king of the East Angles as well. It is believed that uh, King St. Edmund was buried here in the ruins place. And this tower from the cathedral has a symbolic meaning from this city because the top part is meant to represent the crown St. Edmunds, so it would look something like this. There is a legend of the wolf and St. Edmunds. It is believed that St. Edmunds was held on a tree somewhere in this park and then after the Vikings they were blooming arrows to his chest. And the legend tells that days after that they found only the body, they didn't find the head and it was decapitated. They heard a wolf crying so what happened was that this one was keeping the King's Edmund's head. Under the tennis courts may be uh, the remains. The remains of monks there, hopefully. If they find maybe an iron box with remains in, uh, maybe some artifacts that indicate kingship or some regal connection, 
they may be able to identify, uh, identify the bones of a, of a certain age. So it could be end, but there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee. No, no. And if they don't find it, the important thing if, is... If they don't find it, it really doesn't matter, because nothing will change. Mm -hmm. he, was, he could be somewhere else. But it, it, it doesn't greatly matter to us whether you find the bones or not. Uh, because uh, our remembrance is of the king of what he did, not on his bones. But if, if we find his bones, it's a bonus. So I think I finished my visit here today in Bury. This was my vlog. I hope you like it. I see you next week on the next vlog. Thank you. Bye bye.